Welcome to GD3D's 3D Pathfinder YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at using ArcGIS Pro and Cloud Compare to georeference a, a LiDAR and point cloud dataset that has no georeferencing information. In ArcGIS Pro, create a point feature class with Z values enabled to allow you to record heights. Then in that layer, create a minimum of four points. After that, save the layer and run the geoprocessing tool Add XY Coordinates. This will then add to the attribute table relevant positions of X, Y, Z on your points. Once done, open up your attribute table and copy those values to a text editor like Notepad with a file name and the extension .asc. For each line, ensure that values are separated by a comma and then follow it by an RGB value for each point. Here I use red, green, blue and white values. This will be used in Cloud Compare shortly. Pause here to see the formatting of this. Open up Cloud Compare and load in your ASC file you just made, accepting the defaults. If unsure on settings, pause the video here. Now add or load in your LAS file to the scene. This is your point cloud um, that you need to georeference. Select your two layers, use the control key and left click for each. Then click on the Aligns to Clouds button on the toolbar. Ensure you select the correct layer to be aligned in this dialog box. Now navigate to the four points in the scene. You may have to adjust point size to see them. Then click on each of the points ensuring you remember which point is which because you'll be matching the corresponding points next in your point cloud. Note how they're filling in under the yellow heading on the uh, dialog box up there. Navigate back to your point cloud and try and select as best as possible and in the same order as for your four points, each of the features in your point cloud those points correspond to. This may be a little tricky just by the nature of uh, the, the point cloud itself, but don't worry too much. It's the principle here. You can come back and try again later. Once complete, go to the table of points and check it all. Um, you can click the align button and then you can check that your point cloud is now sitting where you think it should be um, in relation to those points you know about. It helps if you know the mapping as well, just to check. Um, check the orientation. Sometimes I find the point cloud comes in upside down, so just check it's the right way. And there's some settings there you can play with um, to do with alignment. And then when you're totally happy, click the green checkbox. 
Now go to your aligned point cloud um, on the left hand side in that sort of content page or layer page and save it as a new file name. Once completely saved, you can go to ArcGIS Pro and add it to your map. In this example, I've assumed the original data was captured in British National Grid projection, so that is what my local scene is in here. Finally, to ensure speedy viewing of this point cloud, make it a scene layer package by using the Create Point Cloud Scene Content GP tool. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.